button and let's switch over to a different website and as you can see it's hello guys and welcome to ai plus more and in this video i'll be showing you how you can use art browser so i'm just going to be showing you the basics of how you can use this website because you might be daunted or scared or intimidated i don't know which one is the right word to see this new you user interface be in front of you it's quite different from the normal interface that we see in web browsers such as google chrome firefox opera gx and the, the like like safari so it's very different and you can see on the top here that our search bar is quite small and when you click on it it opens up this other search bar another way of opening the search bar is by click pressing ctrl plus t and that will open the search bar for us so let's say we try and search up youtube.com and it will open up a new tab here on the bottom left corner of the screen below this below this horizontal line and what this means is that these are the new tabs that are not organized while the ones above the horizontal line are ones that are called pin tabs in short they are the bookmarks that we have in our previous browsers such as Google Chrome and the like. So for most of it, there's nothing really much different in going on through websites such as YouTube or the usual that you visit. It's not really affected in any way. But one good thing about Arc Browser is that you can play your videos in a mini player. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I want to watch this Godzilla minus one video. I'm just gonna keep it playing and let's switch over to a different website and as you can see it's being played on a small player by clicking x on it it will just return it to its normal size player so this is something that's also available on opera gx but having it available here on arc browser is also a good thing having it anywhere is always a good thing but also it can be very bad for your ram so if your pc isn't that strong you may have to be careful with this one. All right, another thing that Arc Browser has is its pin tabs. So what pin tabs has is it's your bookmark. But one good thing about it is similarly to other browsers, you can save your favorite links. But this time you can save it in folders that are that look much more cleaner than what you have in Google Chrome. I'm not trying to flame Google Chrome for this, but I'm just saying, in my own opinion, Arc browsers look very slick for this design that they did with your, their user interface. Let's say for this one, I have saved this. If you want to save another video here to your YouTube videos that I want to watch, you can just drag one of your tabs that you've opened into it and it should be saved. When it's above the horizontal line, that means it's been saved to your bookmarks. So one cool thing about this is once you've saved this bookmark, you can visit any other website and you don't need to open a new link, a new tab. For instance, in Google Chrome, you would have to open a new tab when you have to visit another website, but the bookmark will still be there. One cool thing about this is that this will be the tab that you're using and this can also be the bookmark. And what I mean, let's say we're gonna watch this new video here there will be something else that appears which is this slash bar in between so this is our new video on the right and the bookmark video on the left and you can just click here you can see it appears back to pin url and you are back to the video that you saved all right so that's it for pin tabs there's also something called spaces and you can add one by clicking new space here and what it does is it creates a space where it's like a window inside of a window. So it's not in an entirely new window, but something that's inside that you can use to organize your browsing experience. For example, this is the default space that Arc Browser has normally. If you're in a different, any other website, this will be just it. But in Arc Browser, you have different spaces. For example, I have created one called entertainment where I put all my entertainment tabs or bookmarks. So here I have set this to watch all of my favorite entertaining stuff. 
And I've also created one for my work-related stuff. So it's clearly very helpful. Okay, another thing is how to access your settings. You can access your settings by clicking on the Arc Browser here. Local. Then you have the option to set it as your default browser. Check for updates. Import data from another browser. So if you didn't do it during your installation process, you can go here. Then you have the other options such as new tab, new window, new incognito window. Then again, the spaces that I talked about, tabs, extensions, developer, help, settings, print, blah, blah, blah. And another thing is you can also right click on this empty space here. And what you can get is you can rename your space or you can edit the team color of your space. By clicking it, you have the option to go light or dark mode. And on dark mode, usually you can find the more colorful stuff like this. This is how you can change the team color. On the light mode, you're usually met with pastel colors. But that's it. That is the basics on how you can use Arc Browser. From the get-go, I can I think I can imagine myself using this for a long time. And it seems to be a very fun new way of experiencing browsing on the internet. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, once again this is Kim and I would like to thank you all for watching this video. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more free tutorials for your everyday needs. And come on, once again, let me tell you, it's free, okay? So if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later on, but I would suggest not to do that. Please, 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 please.